Hello peoples. Right, here I am. Just turn that around. Just quickly show you actually. This little bowl here. Tucked away in there. You see, it's surrounded by countryside. Take you in to our little accommodation for the first night. There you go. Got Mr. Paul over there. My kit. Someone else's kit tucked up in the corner there, who you should find out soon. There it is. Right. Been here a while now. I've had a complete wreck of the area around the perimeter. But let's turn it around. But um it's been a long old day. I left at six o'clock this morning. Four hours later, I'm back down here. I'm down here. So, uh, done a wreck here, the whole area by vehicle, and then moved in this location for tonight. Had a banging headache, so I ain't filmed nothing. So, I've just we've eaten, drank, hydrated, head's good to go now. So, right, let's have a little wreck here around where we're staying. Uh, ah, there's our other guest there. Yeah. Look. Mr. Funky. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is tonight's location. So I'm just going to do like a perimeter, go around, check it out, see what it's about, get familiar with it for tonight. I don't think it's used too much around here, but obviously some of you can tell by now that it is a, an area used for training. I think where the, the van's parked in. Yeah, it's, it's uh, we've got access here. Obviously, I'm not supposed to be staying in the building with the vehicle, but fuck it, paid my taxes, done my time. Let's have it. All right, yeah, tomorrow. Shoulder of Bergen's. And, uh, Hoof it to the next location. Bring that back here, I think. I'm not a tanky, I don't know nothing about tanks and that, but earlier we checked out an area and we was literally 10 yards away from a couple of battles, playing battle tanks and a warrior, and they didn't even know we was there. It's like the wind's blowing towards me and I can hear a noise. But anyway, no, I'm going to stay within this area, so we're out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, there's not even a name of this place. Otherwise, uh, I would tell you, but what's that? That water source? Warning, not drinking water. Fuck it. Okay. Find the water source another way. Yeah. Oh, squeaky boots. But yeah, so basically, like this, locked off. Tonight's location. Yeah, pretty smart. So anyway, I know it's a bit boring, but I'll bring you back later, or whatever, and we'll go from there. Let's have a little bit of fun. Keep adding, keep adding. Obviously, yeah, that's, that's it. You know, yeah, we probably got enough if, if needed to probably keep fire going for a Obviously, two and a half, three months. not everybody's that's pretty to it. But the, the other thing area. is, you know what I mean, we could live on the other side of it. But <laughs> that's all you got in there, obviously, less of a charge. Teeny. Oh, that went out. It's an easy way of fire lighting. Oh. There you go. A tip for you, shotgun, cartridges, blanks, whatever. Good one to know. Playing pyro games again. Yeah. Morning ladies and gents. Oh, what a lovely morning. It's almost 10 o'clock. It was a 
okay sleep last night. Stayed up quite late, well for me anyway, chatting. And, that. and uh, we're about just waiting for Funky to just get his big last bit of kiss, ugh, kit squared away, and then we're going to move off to another location. Uh, it was more of a you know have a look around the place yesterday, and then get down to this farm, get our heads down. But anyway, today we're going to move to another location. Uh, which you'll see, your love. It's been shown in Neanderthal's videos and Funky's videos, but first time for me. So I just thought I'd show you. This is uh, my morning ablutions. Lovely. Mod concert. Toilet paper sanitizer. Happy days. And that's the view. You can't beat it. Well, I'm going to get sorted. Catch you later. Good old British Army long drops, can't beat them. Yeah, it's like I've got a fucking stack of them in the shed. Just one of those just... There we go. Bergen's on. Off to the next destination. It's a bit windy. But we're heading that way, but that's not the woods. Not flat woods then. There's plenty of oh, undulations. Yeah, I mean, decades ago, this was a for you. Yeah. yeah. Not so much, no. Plenty of positions. Well, here's the remains of one. Yeah, this this would have been a a forward position. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, a Wrigley tin still in place. Right, there's another one there. I can see it. Oh, back out of it. Right there. Right. Right in front of them there. There's the entrance. All right, that's the position. What we just see from down there. So you'd have your gun group in there. The essential position there. Under here, the tunnel going off. There's another position over there. All right, I'm going to get in, get on location, get a little bit of water dam in there, and that bit of, bit of a snack, and then we'll bring you back a bit later. All right, back again. Gonna take these off. Them now. Got some water down in it. All set up there. Baron, I think it's going to set up over there. 
<laughs> we got rain tonight, do you reckon? Um, the last they said 7 o'clock in the morning for about an hour. Right. Rain, so right, possibly rain in the AM. So I might stick a basher up, but basically I'm just laying here. That's this tree. Right, let's get the kit out. Put the, these bits I'll put in myself just to cinch stuff, extra stuff down. German Army um, ground sheet. Look that, a bit, that little nook in that tree root there, put my belt kit there, that's my pillar. Snug pack sleeker, first pattern one, socks, gloves, hat. I'll go back away in a minute. Buffalo, the outer bag, which was okay last night. It wasn't brilliant, but I don't know because I've never done it up properly. And then the, uh, the later pattern DPM, just stand a big bag. Bags. No, ain't that's my jacket. Don't think it's a deep end, but there's a bigger bag. Yeah. Full waterproof, just in case. Always keep it in the kit. Get else stuff back in Bergen. And done up. In this side, you can see on the side, got cook kit, just gas burner, gas canister, and I've got rations in there. This one, it's got an S on the top, a shelter kit in there, I've got a dry, dry bag and my issued basher and bungees. The reason why I put it in a, ba in a dry bag, because if it's piss wet through, you just stuff it in there, you ain't got to worry about it. Put it straight in there. So that's my shelter kit. Right, that can go there. What I'll do is I'll bring you back when I'm done and show you. Right, that's my basher set up now. Under there, I've got me uh, Bergen, uh, bivy bag, kit mat, sleeping bag, all there, and a the bag and the bungees I've got to put away in set. Belt kit. That's what it looks like. Right. On this side, all happy days, just cut the, you know, sort of the trees, and then, because there ain't a lot behind me, a bit of wood, a bit of metal found, and a string whoosh, on a stick just chucked over there. No worries, when you bug out, you just cut that, off you go. Cut the bunch, take down, that's it. Stuff it in your burger, and the rest of the gear, you sorted. But that is it. All set up, all cushy. Darren's just doing a vid on his belt kit. And there's his patrol pack, which he hasn't sorted out yet. Right, that's it. I'm going to get me on my basher and have a rest. That there is Darren's ass. Right, last time. Yeah, get your ass down here, son. But careful, it's steeper than you think. You slip your ass down there. Yeah. Over in that corner, you used to keep all these fucking firewood and oh, stuff yeah, down there. So it's always drying out the way. But, you can imagine it. Once <laughs> Yeah, what's the nut? Once it's all clear, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I reckon if it's dug out, you can get a fucking fire trench in there, really. What's that? But look, look down there. That's fucking cool, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need my torch. Yeah, I'm just going to get one. Right. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and get one. Right, obviously, we're in a bunker woods. Paul's hide out. And this is obviously the fighting position. Mm. This is quite old, but let's uh, turn this around. Show you down there. You see down there the light. It's uh, funky. Just 
torch out. Right, let's go. Ouch. Being careful not to smack my head again. It's obviously filled in over time. Yeah. I'm in a crouch and I'm six foot. Oh, a pot flare canister. That's the lid back there for it. Here's some advice, don't get a free light torch. <laughs> no one wants to come out here in the dark. Oh, yeah, it's going. oh it does go downhill, doesn't it? Yeah. Lovely and cool down here, don't you? Oh, it's, lo it's going to be a constant temperature as well. It's beautiful. It's a yeah. good place to store food, mate. Yeah. It really is, because you can tell by the ground that it's dry. Yeah. It's cool, there's always an airflow breeze down there. Brown biscuits. <laughs> you were joking, really? No, there's a packet there on the floor. <sighs> See, what are they? Is that shit? Oh, it's oh, bloody torch. Oh, I've got an O light torch, I'm going to have to bloody oh, yeah, use that. Oh, yeah, Does that go anywhere or dead end? No, it, it carries on going, but it's at your own risk, so it's up to you. Oh, right, I'm going ahead then. Alright, mate. Oh. I can't fucking see shit until I get my bloody torch filled. Just go careful, it bends round to your left. Okie doke. Right. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> right. The timber's a little bit damp, but it's it's tantalised. It's coming in from the top. It's tantalised wood. Anyway. It can come down any second or it can stay there for another 10 years. No one really yeah. knows. Ooh, there's a big bottle down here. It could be underneath my own candle. Funny, waking up down here. Would it have come out to another position? Yeah, it does. But I haven't been that far, so Paul's probably been down there. But I oh. think I've got to be an Ah, right, it's yeah. collapsed and I can see the end. Oh. Yeah, I can see the opening at the end, there's light there. Ah. Yeah, it just comes out. I think that is what we were talking about. You know, to come down there and repair all this, yeah. you've got to find out where it is, dig above it. You'd have to dig all these the sides out, which would be yeah. too much work without an excavator. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. You'd have to shutter it off and dig it out, you've got tree roots, fringe, it's a fucking arsehole. Yeah, it's, it's bust through there, you have to dig all that side out. But um, I'd quite happily, because um, this is the lowest point here, but I'd quite happily sleep in that further up. Quick down here, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely a bit wet. <sighs> Oops, I just. Oh, it's that bit of wood fell over. <laughs> that prop. There you go. It's quite narrow. Something's been digging down here. Animals. But we can see what they've been digging. Come down here for whatnot. And there we are. Ouch! Smack me head again. But yeah, you can sleep in here quite easy. Keep it dry. But on that joist there is well rotten. But them sleepers there, they'd still take your weight. But yeah. Uh, 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 Being six foot, I'm catching myself on things, isn't it? A little bit. But yeah, not bad. Come out. I'll show you how close they are to us. So this tunnel goes from here all the way along. I'll take you to the other end. I'll see the daylight coming through. <coughs> it brings you out.
Whoa. Fuck. Brings you out here. Just around here. That's where it's collapsed. Uh, right. I'll catch you here. There's that. that gap on the right of that fir tree. That was stunning views. Oh, what's going on with camera? I press the wrong body button. What's going on with his camera? It's because he's talking about bloody zoom problems in our mind. There's a valley. We've just come down. Oh, lovely. Before, but without destroying his web, got a close up of him. Look at that. What beauty. He looks like a wasp. It's mad. Good picture. Alright. Been out on a recce. It's basically, one, two, three valleys over. Now we come back to our. Area where we bash it up. Yeah, we're further over here. Over here. Yeah. Way further. Right. Modern. Yeah, I've seen a, seen, we've just missed seeing a badger out of its set. I'm sure none of us, and we see a, a road doe as well. <coughs> but, let's go this. But it's exceptionally warm. I'm going to go back and sink a little water. Right, we've come in too far left. We're that way. That's not good. So what? back at the first position. What? Yeah, you can hear the buzzing. Are they wasps? Back there. Look, smoke in that tree, bottom of it. Fuck off. There's smoke grenade. I don't think we meant smoke grenade. Yeah. smoke because I was talking nah. about wasps and bees. Like, yeah, I can hear the buzzing. Right. I'm a bit closer. Yeah, yeah, it's it's over there somewhere. yeah. Right, see what? Well, I can see where we are. There's the tree. Yeah. Like that little black thing going down. That elderberry, isn't it? Is that the position? Yeah, it is. Yeah, look, fuck me, I'm right on top of it. I didn't even realise. Yeah. There's a the position there. I see where the. Are they bees or are they just they're flies? flies? They're flies. Yeah. Done that already when my shirt was three flies with the fucking. Ah, it's alright. I've got a sharp knife. That's it, yeah. You well there you go, because we've got enough um There's a position. Couldn't see our couldn't see our bashers from down there because we we're on raised. Well, yeah, there we are. And yeah, you can tell the other man, that's dark. Yeah. It's alright for night time. Yeah, perfect for night time. Yeah, Full set up, it's each BV. The old jimpy link down there. Oh, oh, Baron's yeah. kit. And obviously mine's where it is. You can see the difference in batch of colour. This is 93 or 95. Issued and that's uh, brand new. Firsty? <laughs> oh, firsty ain't the word. Yeah. Right, see you in a bit. Morning, people. It's uh, second morning in a bunker woods. I'm not even got out of my maggot. Uh, Sleeping, movie bag. 
Buffalo bag and it's worked a treat. It was absolutely lovely last night. And uh, you can see bungee round there, bungee round there, basher just coming down. And all I've done this morning, just unhook them, throw the basher down. As you can see. Just having a breakfast, got coffee on the go. I'm zoomed the fucking zoom the wrong way. Yeah, got coffee on the go, <laughs> waiting for <laughs> FRH to heat up. And then, uh, <sighs> get squared away and out of here. I'm going to look around the woods before we go. Get down. Hole. Oh. And they've got a whole oil. But yeah, lovely night's sleep last night. Absolutely spot on. Just going through some of the places, isn't it? Yeah. And found this. This is old school, 80s, proper early 80s, um, from the ration pack. I forgot what they had in it now, what they squeezy in it. But there's just bits lying around everywhere. Yesterday found a couple of 303 rounds from like the 1960s blank. And, uh, Pop flare, pick it. Pop flare there, NBC boot there, all old stuff. So yeah, it's happy days. So I'm just chilling, having my brew, having my breakfast, and then I'll get squared away in my admin. So uh, catch you a bit later. At the end of the day, I think we all have to remember we're all fucking human. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right, all squared away now. Been off for a shovel recce. Fed, watered, there's my kit all stashed away. I was the last one to get up, by the way. And these two old boys are still going. All right, I'll catch you later. There's a couple a little bit closer. Next time John, what's that? All right, that's the area now, all placed up. We're moving out. It's 12 o'clock. We had a recce round here, me and Darren have. Checked out the area and all the defensive positions around this area. So now, Paul's leading us out on a trackway out of the woods, a different way. Alright. So that's, this was an house then. Yeah, the three man brick. It's a, what do you call it, over there is foundations. Yeah. There's foundations up the top there as well, probably outbuildings. Right, yeah, probably is. Yeah. But this looks like it's the shape. And there we are. Formation. It's all an armature area. Plenty of people to see us from a distance which it happened yesterday, which I'll tell you about later. But we blended in, nobody even took a blind bit of notice. We've come from down there in that woodland, had a stop, freshen up. So we've humped from over the other side of that hill, and we was yesterday we was a few valleys along. We've come back, now we're coming across here, over there, and that's where the vehicle is, over over that way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically we was on the outskirts of a, a village which was manned by tank crews and civilian contractors and such. We was on the outskirts, we was literally tucked behind this barricade behind the HESCO and uh, nobody knew we were there. We were watching, having a look, see what's going on. And then Mod Plod come around the corner and they literally just looked at us and they just see three lads having a crafty fag off the area and drove on didn't take no notice of us dpm still effective it's still used by the current military maybe they thought we were sf i don't know because of our age and our beards and such but they just didn't take a blind bit of notice then we had one of the tank crews corporal come come through see us we're all right lad we went all right mate and that was it nobody batted an eyelid to us that was good because we're all in the same kit, it's uniform. So we've got away with it. And we haven't been hit or anything this whole weekend. Absolutely stunning. Brilliant weekend, good bit of fizz. 
done a lot of wrecking, vehicle wise, as well as foot. But it's all good. There you go. Right. Catch you later, guys. Hello, people. Right. It's 16:35. I'm. Uh, what is it? Half hour my journey on the way home now. Index was a couple of hours ago. At cup two, we got back to Paul's house. Bit of a, bit of a chin wag and a debrief, but um, yeah, overall the weekend has been absolutely cracking. The terrain weren't too bad. We both carried, we all carried, both the three of us carrying around about the same sort of weight, 50, 56 pounds. Uh, everything worked to treat. All the kit layouts and the way it was done was all perfect. You know, we all know our own skills and drills. And uh, one valuable lesson we learned this weekend was we're all dressed the same, same kit. Basically, we're uniform. And so I'm trying to film this while driving, which I shouldn't be, but anyway, all uniform. We got pinged at one stage by MOD police. And they looked at us and looked the other way and didn't bat an eyelid because all they see was three middle-aged men dressed the same, white beards, but um, I don't know what they thought, but they just left us alone. We see, yeah, it was just a cracking weekend. We had the whole place to herself. Nobody took a blind bit of notice of us when we moved, we moved tactically. People might think, when looking at the videos, oh, what are they doing that for? The reason. Hide in plain sight. You look across in the distance and you see people in DPM. In this day and age still, people are using DPM in the military. It was in formation. They look, they see formation, same kit, uniform, a lot. And they look the other way, they don't take a blind bit of notice. So just remember that, blending your surroundings and environment. It's not just there for camouflage, which is obviously why I wore it, but blending in in plain sight. Right, I've got three and a half hours still to travel home, so on that I'll bid you farewell, and I'll see you on the next one.